changes. Hey, good evening, everybody. It is Sunday, November 8th, 2020. You may see this on November 9th. It depends on how long it takes me to get edited and posted. But as promised, I put out the 50 best brands of men's uh, tops and the 50 best brands of women's tops. I'll link them both below, and they're also on my channel if you just scroll back. Awesome brands to sell from both men's and women's tops, shirts, and dresses for women on eBay and Poshmark. And also if you sell on other platforms like uh, Macari or Shopify or Etsy, they would be good for as well. Uh, the third video in this series is going to be the best jeans and pants, the best bottoms. Now I'm gonna combine men's and women's and we will do 50 total brands of these since we're combining them. I didn't think there was enough to do separate men's and women's. And most of the brands that we will find on this list will go in both categories, men's and women's, because like Levi's, they're super popular for both. Silver jeans, super popular for both men and women's. True Religion, both men's and women's. Seven for All Mankind, mainly women's, but both men's and women's. So because there's so many brands that go into both categories, I decided to do men's and women's in the same video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our first brand. As with all my other videos, I will include as many in the corners for uh, reference for you to look at the solds to see how I'm, you know, what brand I'm talking about, how to look them up, etc. And as with any item, including jeans more than anything, these prices are based on used and every size, color, wash, style, and cut is a different combination. One size might be worth 10 to 15, and a bigger size might be worth 30 to 40. So I'm gonna give you my best average. It is up to you to do the specific price research, and all of my prices will be based on used. If you have new with tags, obviously they're going to be worth more money. And again, up to you to use either Terapeak, eBay Solds, or Sellhound, S-E-L-L-H-O-U-N-D, sellhound.com to look up your price comparisons. So let's jump into it. Okay, so number one is the most popular jean probably in the entire world. It is Levi's, and they come in a million different uh, styles, types, cuts, and models. You guys know like Levi 505s, Levi 501s, Levi 560s, 511s. There's all kinds of different ones, so always look up the correct model. As always, for most of these jeans and pants, I'm going to put screenshots and shares of the solds. Now, on most of your pre-owned Levi's, now vintage Levi's are worth a lot more money, so you should always look those up. But on a majority of your Levi jeans used, men's or women's, you're probably going to be looking in the 20 to $30 range. Some of them will inch up into the 30s and 35s, but a majority of the right sizes, the normal average everyday sizes, is going to run in that $25, $30 average range, 35. I sell Levi's, I put them up like $29.99 and they sell pretty quick. I'll start getting offers, somebody will buy them outright. Uh, that's free shipping and so that's a pretty consistent thing. Now there's obviously lots of exceptions. Bigger plus size ones can be easily 40, 50, 60 dollars. Vintage ones can be 50 to 100 dollars. There's tons of them as you look through them, but just keep an eye out for the normal everyday ones that you can get bread and butter 30, 35 bucks for. So that's Levi, probably the most popular jean in the entire world. All right, number two is seven for all mankind. It actually has the number seven. A lot of people will see it as seven fam for all mankind, just the F-A-M. They have two different types. You'll have your standard seven for all mankind jeans. Easy 20, most of them I get 25 to 30 out of, some of them a little more. Again, size and combination of cuts and styles make the difference. But there is a special type called Dojo, D-O-J-O. -O. I'll put a screenshot of those up there. Majority of these are going to be an easy $40. In fact, some of them will go as high as $45, $50, and $60. So definitely, if you're targeting regular Seven for All Mankind, expect $30, $35. If you're uh, targeting dojo pricing, $40 to $45. How do you tell the dojo? Well, I'll put a screenshot up here, but usually it's the pockets. They have those great bright long lines with the seven. Um, they will absolutely say it. You will be able to see it. Look at the tags on them. Uh, if you do a search on eBay for or Poshmark for, uh, you know, solds uh, or actives, dojo, seven for all mankind dojo, and then you pull it up. And again, like I said, I'm going to try to put the pictures for you up in the corners, you will see the dojo, the D-O-J-O, uh, in, in, in the, the edging of the waist, or you'll see it on the tags, and also they have those really distinct uh, back pockets, so you'll be able to see that. So that is seven for all mankind, number two. 
Okay, number three, True Religion, one of the most popular brands of jeans. They have come down in recent years in price. Still expensive retail True Religion jeans, hundreds, $150, $200, depending on where you buy them and how you get them. Dillard sells them. I saw them for like 100 quarter, 150 uh, Of course, the True Religion stores, which I think most of them closed down during COVID or the beginning of the year. They still have stores and of course their online website, expensive. On the resale value, uh, resale marketplace, the secondhand marketplace, two things. Remember they're heavily, heavily faked. Look for that tag, made in USA. Look for that uh, inside pocket with the Buddha. Look for the flipped of the rivets that have the True Religion horseshoe or the TR True Religion gene uh, written on it. There are tons of ways to tell if it's real or fake. Google it, you'll be able to see ways to tell. Uh, they've gotten better at the fakes, but Generally, true religion's an easy one to tell. If you hand me a pair of fake and a pair of real without telling me which one is which, I can almost usually tell within seconds of which one is which. They're not too difficult to tell. Some of them have gotten by on me. Uh, I haven't sold them, but a few that were sent to me or that I bought in boxes were fake and I figured it out later. So uh, just be careful, but they are heavily faked. But if you get real ones, probably averaging $40 to $60 in the used market. Some of them don't sell and they move really slow, $30, $25. But if you can't get more than $25 or $30 for a used pair of True Religion jeans, probably not doing something right. I don't ever sell them for less than that. Most of mine, $40, $50. So I'm willing to pay up to 10 or 12 bucks for a pair of used True Religions. A lot of the used ones, if you get some of like the World Tours or the Giant Buddha, Joey's, you can get 60, 70, 80, $90 for some of those. So um, that would be number three, True Religion. Okay, number four and five, mall brands, American Eagle and Hollister, not the most profitable, but they're very popular. They're always at the top of number of units sold. They sell quickly if you get the right size combinations. Do some research under the sourcing guide of eBay and you'll find that. Most of your true or your Hollister and American Eagle brands, excuse me, are gonna be in that $15 to $20 range. Don't pay more than a dollar or two for them if you can help it, three max. But expect that you know if you're selling them for 17, 18 bucks and they go priority, that's an $8 ship. $7.50 to $8 shipping plus a couple in fees, you're going to be out $10 or $11 uh, off of whatever you get total. So if you sell them for $15 and $5 and it's a $20 price or you sell them for $20 free, you're probably only going to be left with about $9 or $10. Bucks. Then you have to take your cost of goods into effect so or into account. So do not pay more than a couple dollars for them unless it's something special. Number six, Abercrombie & Fitch. Again, I'll put some pictures up. Uh, also gonna be about the same, 15 to $20 averages. Usually don't sell them for more. Number seven, Lane Bryant, especially Lane Bryant's plus size women's jeans. Lane Bryant gonna be women's, of course, not men's. Um, the Lane Bryant normal jeans, they're 15, 20, $22 jeans, but the plus sizes do really, really well in some of the bigger, bigger ones. Um, also in some of the washes, some of the different wash combinations can be really, really good pricing. And by good pricing, I'll just give you an idea as I click through. Let me select used here because we're doing everything used pricing, of course. Pre-owned, uh, not a lot of them, but 300, almost 400 pieces have sold in the last 90 days. So was that like four to five a day? Not terrible, not a lot. But we've got $26, $22, $29, $32, $25, $18, $29, uh, 20, almost 23, 25, 23, 26, 25, generally a 25, $26 average. So a little higher on the Lane Bryant plus sizes. Uh, you can pay, you know, three or $4 for those and be good to go. But they do sell pretty quickly. There's not a lot. If you go over to Actives, like I said, there was uh, what, 400, almost 400 that sold. There's only 456 listed. So that means that about 850 were totally put up in the last 90 days over half of them have sold, so pretty good. Um, that's Lane Bryant, and that is number seven. Number eight is Adriano Goldschmidt, and I do not see these anywhere in Florida. I think I've come across one or two pairs. Now, some of the bulk pallets that we bought, we actually did get a few of these. I know a lot of you out on the West Coast and up north in New York see them a lot. Um, for women, these jeans are expensive retail. They're probably worth about $30 to $40 on the used market. You'll see a lot, a lot of $29.99s, $34.99s, $32.99s, $35.99s. The distressed ones, high-rise, skinny jeans can do a little better, $45.50. So expect that $35.40 sweet spot on Adriana Goldschmidt, and you can definitely sell them for a little bit more if they are unique. So that is going to be uh, number eight. Number nine, I'm going to mix in our designer jeans and designer brands like I did over on the men's and women's tops, um, and that's Armani jeans. Armani jeans, uh, remember there are uh, several different types. You've got like um, 
uh, Armani Exchange, Armani, uh, you know, the Nordstrom Rack has a lot of this type of stuff. Uh, but most of the Armani stuff, if it's real, you have to sort by US only. Make sure you sort, you click that left side and search by US only. The Armani Exchange AX, probably in the 20s to up to $30 range, not gonna see a ton of higher prices than that 20, 25, 30. Actual Armani, Giorgio Armani legit jeans, probably looking at an average of around 40 to 50, $60. There are some more um, expensive ones, but you won't find them very often. They're hard to, um, hard to authenticate as well. But if you find actual uh, Emporio Armani, Armani non-exchange, you can expect in the 50, 60, $70 range for those. So uh, keep an eye out for Armani. Number 10 is Big Star Jeans. Again, all of our Texas friends know about this, Oklahoma, all that stuff. We do not see this here in Florida. I think I've only ever held one pair in my entire life of Big Star Jeans. They do make men's and women's, and a, a good solid average 24 to 30, you know, 25, 26, 27 dollar average on most of these jeans. In fact, a lot of them will fetch over 30 bucks. So uh, definitely don't let them go for less than 25, 24, 25, 26, but try to get that 30, 35 dollar range on Big Star Jeans, and that is number 10. Okay, number 11 is Buckle uh, BKE Jeans. Buckle is a store in the mall. BKE Jeans is a, uh, their brand of jeans for men and women. I actually like Buckle Jeans. They fit well, they're stretched. Really nice jeans. Expensive in the store, again, $100 plus, $80, $90, $120 plus. Use market, solid $30. For men and women, 30 is pretty much the running average. 32, 34 is normal. Everyday jeans like that uh, from that store, easily 30, 34 dollars. My rule of thumb on jeans, we know that the shipping label is gonna cost us eight dollars for pretty much all jeans because they're gonna be over a pound generally, um, and you're gonna pay a few dollars in fees. So we know that it's 12 or 13 dollars just to ship these things out and pay the fee. And if we're even paying a couple dollars for the jeans and getting them cheap for two bucks or three bucks, we're at a 14 or 15 dollar break even. If you can't sell jeans for 20 dollars or more, it's almost not worth it, right? Because that's like a five dollar profit uh, unless you're selling them much higher. So at 25 and 30, you know you're making 10 or 15 dollars a jean, that's solid. If you're over 30 dollars, then you might be making closer to 15 or 20 dollars per pair and you're solid. So don't mind uh, selling jeans for $30 to $35. I'll mix in the um, designer brands as I stated. The next one in no particular order, by the way, is Burberry jeans. You probably won't find too many of these uh, around town. In fact, I've only seen one pair in my entire life uh, out and about and they were in a designer Goodwill boutique area for like 50 bucks or 55 bucks and it was too much because most Burberry jeans are only going to sell on the resale market if you look them up for around 50 or $60, $70. Uh, you know, a couple here and there above that, but not many. Um, you need to pay less than $15 for Burberry jeans or you're probably not doing well. And that is authentic Burberry jeans. So that's next on the list. Um, our next pair of jeans is Carhartt. We talked about Carhartt in the men's tops section. Well, Carhartt also makes carpenter jeans. They make, um, they make other pants too, like outdoorsy pants and fishing and different things like that. But their jeans are really, really popular. In fact, there's over seven thousand pairs, 5,000 of them used in the solds right now. That's huge, huge amount. I mean, if you think about that at, uh, what, like 10, 10 pairs a day and 90 days is 900. So 100 is 9,000. It's almost 100 pair, 80 to 100 pairs a day selling. Majority of Carhartt jeans, they're not super expensive, but they're easy 20, $25, which we just said is a good thing. You sell them for 25, you pay eight for the label, leaves you 17. You pay a few dollars in fees, it leaves you 13, and you buy them for $3 and you make a $10 profit. So it's not huge, but decent Carhartt jeans um, are on the list for sure. They're number 13. Number 14, Chico's, women's Chico jeans. You're not gonna obviously do men's Chico's. It's women's, uh, they're 15 to $20 jeans. Don't pay more than a dollar or two for them. They're everywhere, they're super popular. If you can get the platinum one, sometimes you can get 22 or 24. Look for the bigger sizes. I put them on the list because a lot of people sell them and a lot of people find them, but don't put them at the top of your list or you're probably not going to do uh, very well. So um, yeah, that's uh, Chico's jeans. So Citizens of Humanity jeans next. Uh, they're the next one I pull up on the list here and uh, they are pretty expensive out on the retail market as with most jeans, but on the resale secondhand market, 
they're pretty much all $30. Like everything I see, $29.99, 19 plus 10, 18 plus nine, so that's like 27 and change. 20, they're almost all $30 down the line. Citizens of Humanity jeans, pretty much expect whatever you have to sell $30, give or take a couple bucks. So you know exactly what to pay for those, but they're super popular and they sell really fast. We've sold quite a few pair last year. Um, we sold quite a few pairs out of the boxes this year and I think we got pretty much right around, you know, that same $28, $32 price range. So, uh, but they sold fast. They sold within a week of having them listed. Next, Diesel Jeans, uh, and Diesel Jeans is gonna be number 16. Citizens of Humanity was number 15. 16 Diesel Jeans, um, again, 3,300 pairs sold in the last 90 days, so almost 40 per day. Um, and, you know, solid pre-owned over 3,200 pairs, all averaging around $40 to $50. Easy 30s, 40s, a lot of 70s and 80s. I put the average around 40, expect that that's what you'll get depending on what you have, but a lot of the nice, you know, newer type styles and, and more um, popular ones, 50, 60, $70. So Diesel, one of my favorite brands, you can make 20, $25 on a pair of Diesel jeans all day long. Um, next one, we're gonna mix in another one of those designers, everyone's favorite. Please make sure that you know how to authenticate Gucci before you try going out buying things like Gucci jeans or Gucci purses or whatever it is. Real authenticated Gucci jeans are all gonna be worth over $100. Pretty much no exceptions to that. A lot of them gonna be worth the $150 to $200, $250 range. Gucci jeans, a lot of money, but make sure you know how to authenticate them. Now I'm gonna do the next three, uh, 18, 19, and 20, Express, Guess, H&M, all three mall brands, all three 15 to $20 jeans, unless you get something special, nice designs, combinations, uh, sizes, so learn those. If you pick up Express, Guess, and H&M, please don't pay more than a dollar or two for them. That's 18, 19, and 20 on the list. I don't recommend them unless they are, uh, you know, just something special and something worth that 24, 25, 26 dollars. And even then don't pay more than like two bucks for them. So Joe's jeans gonna be number 21 on the list. Joe's jeans, uh, don't sleep on them. I used to not know very well, but you know what? Joe's jeans, easy 30, 35 dollars. Some of them 40 and up. We got a few in the bulk uh, tractor trailer load that we bought. I almost donated them on accident. I saw them, I pulled them out. We listed all three pair for $30. One sold right away, one sold about two weeks later, and one sold three weeks later. So $90 in jeans that we paid three bucks for. Joe's jeans, nothing to sleep on. Again, pictures as with pretty much every other one that we put up here. Now, this is an odd one. Cut um, from the cloth jeans is one that some people do really well on and some people do terrible on. Star and Keith have done awesome. I have not done awesome on cut from the cloth uh, jeans. I'm just not a fan of these and I never have been and I never will be. So when we pull the pre-owned uh, solds and this number is gonna be staggering to you guys. It's a huge number. I don't know the number yet, but it's coming up. Yeah, there's over 14,000 pair of jeans listed and about 3,000 have sold. So it's kind of a low sell through rate and a lot of people get like 20s and 25s for these. Every pair I've ever sold, I had to get rid of for like 14, 15, 16 dollars. I just haven't done well on them. Um, and I see a lot of pairs selling at 12 and 13, and I see a lot of pairs selling at 30 and 40. So just be cautious with cut from the cloth. Not uh, one of my favorite brands to sell, but a lot of people do well. That's the difference. Some people can sell certain brands and some people can't. Okay, uh, that's what, number 22. Number 23 is Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand, I own a few pairs. I wear them. I bought them at Men's Warehouse. I bought them at Dillard's when they were in Dillard's. Um, again, $75 to $100 pairs of jeans. Usually on the used market, $25 to $30 is typical for Lucky Brand. Silver Jeans, another one that I own. These are probably my favorite pair of jeans. Uh, they're at Men's Warehouse for $105 to $120. I usually do like the buy one, get one free, so I end up paying like 50, 60 bucks a pair, which is a great price for Silver Jeans, brand new. I own probably five or six pairs of them, seven pairs of them, I don't know, something like that. And uh, I can, what's great about Silver Jeans is they last. They really last. I can buy a pair for Christmas and, uh, you know, with a gift card or something, buy two pairs, and those two pairs, will last years. And so next year I might buy two more pairs and I just keep stacking them up. And by the time year four or five comes, I'm just getting rid of the first uh, two pairs that I had four or five years ago. So love them, they fit comfortably, they fit well. Uh, and the sizes are just great on, on silver jeans. Uh, again, retail over a hundred on most of them. Resale value, 
Don't take less than 30, 35 for most silver jeans. Star's really good at getting 40, 45 for them uh, all day long on the used ones. So Lucky Brand and Silver. Made Well Jeans. This is going to be a women's, number 25, Made Well Jeans for women. Now, Made Well, we mentioned in the women's uh, tops video, which again, if you missed it, I'll link it down below. But Made Well Jeans for me are really good sellers and they're almost always 35 to $40. People or women love the fit of their jeans jeans. Uh, they're just like silver. They last a really long time. Everything I've heard is that they last and they're very easy to sell for 30 to 35 uh, and pretty much common to get 40 plus on Madewell jeans. So definitely aim for that on Madewell. Miss Me Jeans, number 26 for women, Miss Me Jeans. Uh, some people will say they really crashed. Same with number 27, Rock Revival. Look, these are jeans that are over $100 retail. If you get the Miss Me Jeans with the angel wings, big gemstones, you know, rhinestones, Rock Revival with all the big stitching and embroidery, these are easy to get $40, $50, $60 dollars for them. So definitely check the value. Some of these things can go upwards of $70, $80. Most of them are gonna be in that 35, 45 range up to 50. Whenever I sell the angel wings of Miss Me, I get 50 for them, 55 for them all day long. So that's number 26 Miss Me and number 27 Rock Revival. Pretty similar in their pricing and their styles. People are always like, oh my God, 2005 once it's jeans back. I think that's hilarious, but you know what? They're super popular and they still sell and they still do very, very well for number 26 and 27. Number 28, Mother Jeans. Now these ones do well with like the high rise, 60s, 50s, 40s. I mean, lots of colored ones. Like I see orange and pink and green ones that sell for $30, 35. Mother's jeans are absolutely worth selling. Distressed skinny jeans, again, 35, 40. Expect an average to be in the 30s, if not the 40s on most of your mother's jeans. Not your daughter's jeans, NYDJ, what is that number, uh, 29. NYDJ is gonna be something that you're gonna average about 25 to $30 for. Um, they are expensive retail, they've come down in recent years, but expect a solid 25 for Not Your Daughters. If you get something special, again, one of those sizes, 30, $35. That is number 29, NYDJ, Not Your Daughters Jeans. Let's move over to number 30 pre-owned jeans of Rag & Bone. <clears throat> okay, number 30, Rag & Bone used. Uh, typically, I'm looking for about $30 to $40 on Rag & Bones in most of the used sizes. That seems to be the going trend. Terra Peak says it's around 36, plus you know, most people charge shipping on these. Uh, a lot of these I do see in the 40s and 45s. I've seen a few even higher in 50s and 60s. Majority of them right around $35, $40 average. A lot of best offers on them. So consider that on your rag and bone jeans. That is what we say, number 30? Number 30. So uh, number 31, going to be uh, Roberto Cavalli or Cavalli. Somebody, again, like I said in the last video, I don't even know how to say his name. I should have looked it up. Uh, his jeans, really hard to find. You probably won't see many of them. There's only 100 or so used that have sold. So that's only what, like one or two a day at most. Uh, majority of his jeans, 50 to $100 range. There's some cheaper, some more expensive. Obviously, they're really fancy. Um, 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, really common. Um, some of his jeans, even I saw 30s, but um, probably won't see too many of them, but I wanted to put them on the list because a lot of people know them. Okay, Roberto, or excuse me, Rock and Republic jeans, not to be confused with Rock and Revival. Rock and Republic, the cheaper ones, and they're your solid $20, $25, up to $30 ones. You probably won't get a lot of 40s and 50s in the Rock and Republic range, just not gonna happen. Tommy Bahama, retail, um, number 33, they're $100 jeans, but typically around 30s, 35s. Men's and women's, they sell both. Harley jeans, Harley Davidson jeans, uh, for the plain Jane ones, everyday looking jeans, 30 bucks, right? But there are some Harley jeans that have stripe, uh, leather striping piping down the sides, big Harley letters on the back. Those can be 40 and $50, but Harley's easy 30, 35 bucks on their jeans. Um, then number 35, Tommy Hilfiger. Now the same with number 36, Polo. If you find everyday Tommy and Polo jeans, they're not worth a lot of money. Again, I'll put pictures. $20 jeans, right? But if you find those old style carpenter ones, the ones with the big flags on the butt or the big tags and the leather you know, hooks, those things can be 40s, 50s, 60s. I sold a black pair of men's carpenter 30, I think they were size 38, which is big. 38 is big. I wear like a 34, 36 waist. So 38 is starting to get bigger. 40 is a big size, but uh, 38 is a big enough size to bring value. They were old, uh, late 90s, early 2000s. 
black with the big carpenter hook with the red and white and blue uh, you know, uh, hook there. And I got $55 for them within like a week of listing them. So always keep out a look for those 35 and 36. Same with the polo, big polo guys, graphics, all that sort of stuff is just really highly sought after vintage, newer age, not as popular, but they'll still fetch uh, you know, a decent price. So keep an eye out for them. Okay, pre-owned, uh, moving on to number 37, Torrid. Torrid, known for its plus size, their jeans knock great, 20s to 30, 22s, 25s, 27s. Torrid, a great brand, really does sell fast though. So if you can find a pair, you can put it up for $26, $28, you may get it really, really quick. Um, the next one is not jeans, um, but it is Trip New York City, T-R-I-P-P, -P, New York City, pants. They also sell shorts and stuff. A lot of these are more the gothic skater types um, and they have like chains and belt loops and big pockets and pink things. Um, a lot of these black, you'll see them in the pictures. These things are worth 30s and 40s. Some of them upwards of 50 and 60 if they've got the chains and the straps on them and they're vintage -y. Uh, Just something, I actually see them pretty common down here. I think they come from like a Hot Topic store. Maybe they had their own store back in the day, but definitely something you would expect to see at a Hot Topic trip, New York City. Versace jeans. Now I have come across these in Orlando, which is kind of weird out by Disney. I live in Tampa, not far from Disney. Uh, but Versace jeans, as I look at them, and these look exactly uh, like what I seen out there. Uh, Versace jeans, not really common. You're not gonna see a ton of them. But if you look at men's clothing, for example, there's been 360 that have sold in the last 90 days. So four per day um, for the jeans, uh, you know, if you sort it a little bit less. But a lot of them, you know, only in the 40s and 50s and 60s, you know, some special ones over 100, not many, one or two over 100, but most of them just 40, 50, 60 bucks for a high-end brand. It's really, you don't see a lot and they're just not expensive. So uh, Versace, number 39. Number 40, as we close into this last section here, is e Yves Saint, how do they say it? Yves Saint Laurent jeans. Now, uh, you know, Again, not something you're gonna find a lot of, but if you can authenticate them and you know what you're doing, Yves Saint Laurent jeans are easily 100, 150 used, if not two to 250. So I won't touch on those a lot. I've never seen a real pair in my life, except for in a store, and I don't know how to authenticate them. Maybe some of you do. If you do, put some tips down below that some people can look at for Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, and I think that's how they say it. I'm probably not even pronouncing it right. Okay. Um, and for anyone who wants to tell me that I need to know how to pronounce these and I'm gonna make videos about them, no, I don't. My job on videos is to tell you the prices, what's good, what sells, what it's worth. I don't care how to say it in another language. I apologize to those languages for butchering pronunciations or if I ever say your name and can't say it, sorry. But my job is pricing and sales, not English pronunciations of French brands, sorry. Um, okay, so Zara jeans, we're moving on. I don't even know what number we're on now. Number what, what? Number 41, Zara jeans. Uh, Zara jeans, really common, 20s, $25. Don't expect big money for uh, Zara jeans. Unfortunately, just not the way that it goes. J. Jill jeans have come way down. Also a 20, $25. You might get 30 for some of J. Jill. Not really common. Ed Hardy jeans, our favorite. I keep going back to these Ed Hardy items because I sell the shirts really well and the jeans with big, graphics on them can do awesome as well. Um, you know, majority, you're gonna be looking in the 25 to $35 range. If they've got huge, bright skulls, I'm looking at flames, 35, 45 range easily. So definitely don't expect less than 25 to 30. Try to get that 35 to 40 on Ed Hardy jeans. Kuji, now Kuji is hit or miss on jeans. You could get 20, you could get 50. Uh, again, it comes down to the big giant graphics, which I'll put up on here uh, for you. That's number uh, 44. Number 45 is going to be Eileen Fisher jeans for women. Super popular, anything Eileen Fisher, uh, anything um, with her brand name on it is just a quick, quick seller. Pre-owned, almost 600 of them have sold. So what, like six, seven, almost between six and seven a day that have sold. Not terrible for used, that's only for used. Majority of the jeans between 25 and $35, uh, but they sell super fast. So no matter what you get for them, if you don't profit all that much, um, definitely something to look out for. Okay, so that's number 45. 
46, Calvin Klein, uh, hit or miss, 15, could be 25. Be careful with Calvin Klein. I put them on the list because they're really common. I don't like selling them. Number 47, Jessica Simpson jeans, her plus size ones from when she was bigger and marketed those. They do well, 25s to 35s. A lot of her jeans though, only 20 dollars, low 20s, 18s, 19s, so careful with Jessica Simpson. Um, Earl jeans, uh, Earl jeans for women. The more embroidery, the more rhinestones that Earl jeans have, the better you will do. Majority of them 15 to 20, but the big glittery ones can fetch $25. So Earl jeans, and that leaves us with two. Number 49 um, is cinch jeans. So cinch is a Western wear. We did the shirts. I didn't put them in the list because I just ran out of time, even though I should have. But there are over 1,500 that have sold. That's almost 20, you know, 18 to 20 a day. And a lot of cinch jeans are in the mid 20s to 30. So not something you want to leave off this list. I should have put them on the Western wear for men's tops. I mentioned them, but they're really good jeans. So look for them and a lot of them sell. And I'll close this one with a brand a lot of you guys have probably never heard of. It's Balmain jeans, and I'm probably saying that wrong. It could be Balmain. Um, they are not that common. Just to give you an idea, the pre-owned use have only sold about 150 over the last 90 days, so less than two per day. But all the ones that have sold have averaged in the mid hundreds, 125, 150, 175 dollars. In fact, almost every single pair is over 100, with the exception of about a handful. Most of them 200s, 175, 157, 250, 150, 850 for a tie-dye pair. Rare, again, don't go off of that. 152 for a distressed pair. 200 for a button fly pair. 400, 170, 100, 125, 325, every pair on Balmain. It's B-A-L-M-A-I-N. I will screenshot and put them there for you guys. So there we have it. That is, I'm going to close the laptop. That is the 50 brands of jeans to always be on the lookout for, the profitability, what you should expect. And that is what I have for you tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I appreciate it. The other ones are already have thousands and thousands of views. So please do go check those out. I'll link them below as always. Also below, if you want 700 additional bolos, it includes all the stuff you'll find in these videos, plus additional items, hard goods, electronics, and all 150 of my training videos, plus Poshmark, eBay, Amazon, accounting, affiliates, uh, social media sales, starting and registering your business, legalizing it, my private Facebook group, you get everything for just $20.20 and I'm retiring it this month. So do pick it up, that's below, and you'll get everything in guides and everything that you need to get your career and your reselling business off the ground for 2020 into 2021. Appreciate all of you. Make sure you hit that thumbs up so that more people can find this video. Share this among your Instagram and social media stories and videos and tag me so I can shout you out as well. I do appreciate that. And before you leave, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on. It makes me know that you guys love these videos and I'll keep putting them out for you. And thank you so, so much. Have a wonderful night, guys. I'll see you next time.